Hey everyone, this is Dee again. I'm just going to show these cards. These are the last cards I've been making lately. Because um, I was going to do a... Um, let y'all know what's been going on. And I'm not wanting to do a face video because you would not want to see me right now. <laughs> it ain't very pretty. But um, Saturday night, late Saturday night, we got a call that my father-in-law passed away. They live two hours away from us. And um, so after that, uh, Sunday morning, we went up there to help his mother, my mother-in-law, with arrangements. Every day we had to drive back and forth. So um, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, we were back and forth, back and forth up there. Uh, the funeral was Tuesday, so today's Wednesday, and um, I had bereavement time off Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, so I go back to work tomorrow. And today we were supposed to have went up there and help with getting the home in order. Um, but I've been having trouble with my blood pressure. Um, it wasn't a. It was my my husband's stepdad, and um. He was very picky about things, so uh, there was times that we asked, could we come in there and clean up for them and organize things for them, and he didn't like it. He was just real picky. So we were very limited on how we could help his mother um, because the home they lived in was his family home, and... Um, um, I just feel like I need to talk about this because I've been, you know, kind of holding it in. and um, So we knew he was a very particular man. He was always good to me, don't get me wrong. They have been together over 20-something years, but they didn't get married till later because I think y'all know when older people don't get, when they get married, their benefits get cut or something, so that was a lot of reasons why they didn't get married till later and um but their health really the last two or three years their health has got really bad and like i said there was things that we wanted to help but our hands were tied because of it being his family's home he wouldn't let us come in and clean for them or organize for them so now we have a mess, and uh, thank God for my sister-in-law. Right now she's doing some schooling, and she's not working right now, and my mother-in-law's sister is retired, so they have really stepped up and done a lot, and because we, you know, being so far away, and that's what I used to tell her, I couldn't help her because we live far away, and we always told her if something happened to her husband that, she was more than welcome to come live with us. And, you know, we've always talked about that. <laughs> but I think the day that we had to sit, my husband sat her down and said that, I think I started panicking a little bit. <laughs> because, I mean, um, you know, your whole world changes. And we don't have that big of a house. We have a three-bedroom home, but um, it's not that big. And um, so, and I'm a person where if, even the thought that this was going to happen. I had to go ahead and get on it before I even knew her decision. So, uh, right now, she has decided that she wants to stay in her home. So, we're going, it's going to have to have a lot of repair. Um, so we're going to do that a little bit at a time. Her brother is going to live in the home with her because she cannot live alone. She has problem being by herself um but she told us there may be a day that she calls and says i'm coming to live with you <laughs> so um we're going to go ahead and make arrangements as if she was moving in um so this weekend i have found a twin size bed um my mother has and a mattress so that was a blessing because, um, you know, I just can't go out and buy all this stuff. And uh, so she's a quilt. She loves to quilt. 
so what I've decided to do is because even if she doesn't come live with us she'll probably come and want to stay weeks at a time so we have to make a room comfortable for her and um, that's what I'm going to do I'm going to put uh, the twin size bed in there and then I'm gonna reach out to some of my um, Sunday school classmates and see if they can help me track down things that I may need um, I'm gonna put her a sewing table in there so if she comes and wants to quilt she can I want to make you know I feel like if this happened to me my daughter-in-law would do this for me I would hope she'd make me a bedroom with a craft room in it but I have a good mother-in-law she's very um, her and my father-in-law were very nice to me always welcomed me and um, he was just very funny and um, funny about things and she's just a person that's just she does what she's told and she hasn't always had a great life and I think now with him being gone the children can really we have stepped up and we can do more for her now and um, I think she knows that and she's very thankful for that <clears throat> so we're gonna try to spoil her a little bit where she's never been able nobody's ever done for her before and um, she's not in that best of health so now that we're able to do these things for her we want to do it and um but that's what I've been going through <laughs> since Saturday night and um I haven't lost a lot of people I lost my grandfather three or four years ago he was the first person I ever lost and he was like my dad and that was very hard and um the only thing about this situation is uh his brothers of course when you have somebody that's very particular like he was they are the same way <laughs> and you know funerals they bring the worst out in people and uh, so dealing with that and uh, that's why I don't like funerals I don't I think he didn't have no plans made when my grandpa passed away he had his songs picked out we didn't he he took care of everything he had his casket picked out we didn't have to pay nothing um, I mean, it was just, he, I guess that's where I get it from. He had it, he didn't have, we didn't have to worry about nothing. I mean, he had it all took care of. And, uh, so, it's hard when, when people don't have it took care of. But, I'm sorry, this is not an uplifting video. I really love doing uplifting videos. But I know when we're down, our crafting community wants to know and I would appreciate your prayers um, I haven't felt good all day um, I knew something was wrong because I've been having a headache for three days and I'm just sure it was from the stress of um, what was going on and uh, we were having to pick up fast food back and forth so not eating well and um, and I my husband had bought me a blood pressure monitor because I have been keeping a lot of headaches lately and when I checked it it was 165 over 117 which I know you should go to the mercy room <laughs> but I took um, my pill early my high blood pressure pill early today and it in about an hour it went down so um, and like I said I just think it's from all that's going on not eating well the right foods and, and then the stress so I've really just rested today. Got caught up on some sleep because we have just been, you know, driving will wear you out. So, um, let's end this on a good note. Let's just look at some of these cards. <laughs> this is one that, um, I done, The Wizard of Oz. I printed this picture out. I thought it was, I didn't do anything stickle 